okay now we are going to make we are going to understand cardiac anatomy and we are going to do that with some plasticine i have created now this is a do it yourself model of the heart okay this is the cylindrical kind of thing is the left ventricle mm -hmm. to that i'm now going to attach the right atrium which is in blue and that's slightly posterior to the left ventricle it's here on this side of the heart okay that's the right atrium what do you mean by posterior uh it so if you take now okay before we do anything we'll have to understand the anatomy of the of this patient so this is the head end of the patient this is the foot end so maybe what i'll do is i'll actually turn it round okay this is the head end this is where the feet are so the patient is lying supine and this is the chest this is the anterior chest and this is the posterior chest of the spine mm -hmm. so the heart is lying somewhere in on the left side of the chest um and what we always the ultrasound beam cuts the heart from anterior to posterior when you're scanning um from the chest and whichever way so if you're doing a subcostal view it'll cut in this way it'll it'll cut from uh from an inferior plane back up to the left shoulder mm -hmm. so once again head feet left shoulder right shoulder left hip or left hip is here right hip this is the abdomen and this is the chest here this is the precordium and i'm going to keep the heart on the left side of the chest the lv is the center point of the heart it's the largest chamber and it's roughly about you know it's a little bit cylindrical in shape like this the right atrium is somewhere a little bit posterior it's actually sitting alongside the spine okay then the inferior vena cava is a cylindrical structure that attaches itself to the right atrium it's coming from the right side of the um of the abdomen like this mm -hmm. and then it joins and it enters the right atrium okay then the right ventricle is a is a it's, it's a funny shaped structure it has it has an inflow tract which joins and is attached to the right atrium then it arches along on anterior to the left ventricle okay and then it has what is called an outflow tract which then attaches to the two pulmonary arteries like this okay so that's the right side pulmonary artery that's the left side pulmonary artery so it wraps around the left ventricle it, essentially it, exactly it wraps around the left ventricle uh from it starts a little bit posterior and then it goes anterior and it then goes back to the left side so starting from the right atrium uh to the pulmonary arteries mm -hmm. then as far as the left ventricle is concerned now this is the left the lv now the left atrium i've just put that in pink that's again just like similar to the right atrium it sits on the left side of the lv and if i take away the pulmonary artery so you can see that better you'll the it attaches the uh, uh, slightly posterior to the lv there okay now that actually the l the um, the left atrium gets four pulmonary veins and i'm uh, that's one two three and four kind of thing okay and uh, i think it goes like this and the pulmonary veins will drain blood from the right lung and the left lung and all of the oxygenated blood will go into the left atrium then the left atrium attaches to the left ventricle and there's a mitral valve between them and it empties itself into the left ventricle okay so let's put back this okay now the lv therefore has an inflow which is coming from the left uh, atrium which is through the mitral valve and then it also has an outflow tract which comes like this okay so the outflow tract of the lv is the is the aortic valve and it gets the aortic valve uh, and the aorta that's the that's the aorta and this here is the descending thoracic aorta and what you will find uh, if i have if i take a little more of the plasticine then i can extend that that aorta to go all along the ivc here okay so it goes along the spine this is the descending thoracic aorta this is the abdominal aorta now the ivc is going through the liver so this is the cardiovascular system uh and that's the uh, this is the cardiovascular system okay 